Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how to be a team player as the recon class, or the sniper class. It's, it's the sniper class, alright? I don't know why they want to call it recon, it really, every class can recon in its own sense. But, we got recon class. Now, the big thing with recon class is you have the range, but you have the two tools at your disposal to really be a team player which is the spotting scope and the spotting flare. Both of those can literally win objectives. I'm not even kidding. I've seen it happen before. Especially when I'm playing with my friend Rag, because Rag is an amazing recon player in this game. So what you do, first of all, with these two tools, is you do exactly what they are for, and spot enemies. Because you can't really spot enemies in this game. There's ways to do it, like suppression, but... Really, the recon is the best one to spot with. So, what you do is, let's say you want to push into an objective. Well, shoot a spotting flare up really high. Or, use your scope and sit there and call out enemies. If you're in comms, you don't have to use the spotting scope. You can use the sniper rifle scope and spot enemies that way. But even if you want to play as an iron sight guy. You know, the, the thing is, even though the spotting flare seems better... It's really just there so that if you want to get closer, you have something to spot with. The scope is spotting for long range, and the flare is spotting for close range. And that's really the best thing for a recon player to do, is spot before you attack, and then start sniping them, maybe spot a couple enemies that are hard to shoot at. You know, kind of find the balance. It's really tough to do that, because swapping to the sniper rifles into different gear takes a while. And I think that kind of, that makes it so the recon player isn't overpowered. The other thing that you can do as a recon player is use the spawn beacon, all right? I use the spawn beacon exclusively. Like, I don't even know what the other gear is that can go in the spawn beacon slot. I think one of them's a sniper decoy, and the other's like a bouncing Betty. I think that's what the, what the other two are. Because that spawn beacon is so good. You can put it in an objective. You can put it out of the way. What you can do with it is you can put it down and then do your thing, die, go back on it, you have another one to put down, so you can push up a little bit, put the second one down, die, push up, and put the spawn beacon down, just kind of keep the line there, and it's that extra insurance policy in case someone gets pinned down and you just spawn in, or everyone in your squad dies. Or, with the recon ability to spawn on any spawn beacon, you might even be able to do different spawn beacons for different flanks. You know, I've had this uh, happen one time on Aerodome, where Objective C was getting taken, and I was playing as Recon, and a guy from a different squad had a spawn beacon in Objective C. So I spawned in Objective C, and then my squad spawned on me, and we took the objective back, because there's that ability, you know? So there's a lot of, a lot of cool abilities with the spawn beacon. Definitely like a must-use tool. And then, really, the only thing you can do as Recon is do the callouts, do the spawn beacon, and kill enemies, you know? Um, the sniper rifle is very intimidating, and if you shoot at someone, they're gonna know you're there, they're gonna know you're always watching, and they know that if they don't get out of the way, there's a chance that they're gonna get one-shotted, and they can't respond, because you're far away. So, like, if you really need to, and you suck at aiming, I prefer using the sniper as an intimidation tool rather than a killer. And then, of course, you know, you get the kills. So... Overall, even though Recon class seems very much of a lone wolf kind of class, there's a lot more to it that you can do to make it more of a team-based class rather than a lone wolf class. So let me know what you think about that in the comments below, guys. Thank you for watching. What do you, or not, not what, but how do you play Recon? How do you like to play Recon? I'm always curious. Um, that's it. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam it post of whatever I decide to make.